So fucking drunk back again here with yet another attempt at a beer review. What I'm going to do just now is a revisit and it's the Flying Dog Snake Dog IPA 7.1 in Richter scale. Bring that up. The reason I'm reviewing this again is because I got it in bottle form and I quite liked it, right, to be honest, but in a can it's going to be a lot fresher. Especially for us in the UK. Picked this up in the... Mm, what did I pick this up? The Cave. The Cave in Great Western Road. Uh, picked it up. No, actually, that's a lie. I'm, I'm telling you lies. I'm, I've started this video and I've told you lies. I picked this up at Nepo Beers because I picked this up and the Atlantic Lager from and I bought a glass as well. I remember it now. It was Hippo Beers, Great Western Road in Glasgow. So if you're up there, that's a shout out for Hippo Beers. Really, really good bottle shop. You should uh, check them out. Go stick this in my wee connoisseur's glass, uh, the wee Great British Beer Festival glass. So we'll go again here. It's a 7.1. On a Richter scale, it's it's fucking it's a it's a heavy brew. I'll take it right up to the top, drop it here, get rid of the frog's eggs. You know what the frog's eggs are? The wee residue that just hangs about the glass. Nice fluffy head on it. Uh, go in here, see what I can come up with. Nice and fresh, a lot fresher than the bottle version of what I can remember. Picking a lot of your big hops around there. Like so I'm picking up the, the big grapefruit. Making an IPA. It's, it's not as intense, uh, believe it or not. I, I can remember reviewing this in the bottle when it was uh, it was more sort of intense, but Smells really nice. A little bit of carbonation going up there. Uh, so we'll go in here. We'll try the Flying Dog uh, IPA. Mm. Snake Dog. That is really smooth. That is better than the bottle version. Obviously canned is always going to be better over bottle. Where way you go. It's really nice. It's refreshing. It's more refined. Uh, if you've seen the, the other review I've done of this, it's more softer. The grapefruit, like I'm not a, the biggest world fan of IPAs, but like say, you've got that grapefruit tangent you always get in this. This is softer. I don't know what it is because maybe the beer is more fresher because it's in the can. But when you pick it up in the bottle, sometimes you go, it's okay. It, yeah, I, I can deal with this, but it's it's more sort of refined in the can. It's more softer. It's like a if you stay beside the brew dog, not the brew dog, where, where did I get that? Flying dog, if you stay beside the brewery and obviously it was a bar, it had their beers on tap, you know what I was talking about. But unfortunately I don't stay there <laughs> in the US. Uh, it's, it's really, really refined beer. Really nice. 7.1 on Rick Skip, you're not getting an alcohol burner at all. I prefer this actually to the bottle version. So I urge you, if you see the can, ignore the bottle, go for the can. It's more refined. The can is uh, the artwork on the can is superb. Like a uh, snake dog IPA, and it's got all sorts of seven point one skill. You're not gonna, you're not picking up any alcohol note in that at all. Really, really refined drink. Lovely stuff. You're getting all the hoppiness, the flavour. What I love about this is uh, the grapefruit is not right in there. It's not. Grapefruit is there. Don't get me wrong, that, that grapefruit. People like grapefruit and 
there's other people who don't like grapefruit. But you get them like some IPAs, you you're gonna it promotes the grapefruit flavour. And it's oh will I try it or not? Try this, really nice. You'll be surprised at how well all the other flavours come over the top of it. Like so with IPAs, what you're going to get, there's a lot of guys out in the uh, beer troop line they are going to bullshit you about this, that and the next thing. When they're drinking a bottle of IPA from any uh, country in the land. Like so, what you get right away is, on the smell and on the taste, is you get grapefruit. Right, but with this, you are getting grapefruit, right? But you're getting other flavours coming over the top of the grapefruit, which is really, really nice, and it's really, really easy to drink. 7.1 in Richter scale. Recommend it to anyone. So anyway, this is a revisit from So Fucking Drunk. It's a Snake Dog IPA, 7.1 in Richter scale. I can't remember what I gave it the last time, because I never looked at my video. I'm going to give that a solid 9 out of 10. Oh, well, and if it was a lesser score than what I gave the bottle, I'm sorry. So anyway, if you've had a go at any of the Flying Dog beers, or a Snake Dog IPA, give us a shout. And if not, thanks for sticking along at the end of the video. Leave your comment below, I'll visit your channel, and I'll see what you're all about if you're a beer lover. But anyway, so fucking drunk, saying, ciao for now, keep drinking good beer. Check it out.